My name is Natasha Kleiter and I'm an associate professor at the Medical University Innsbruck in Austria. My research focus over the last 15 years has been the role of inflammatory diseases and nuclear receptor biology. Within the gastrointestinal tract, nuclear receptors are highly expressed and well-known regulators of nutrient uptake, hormone responses as well as responses to gut microbiotic. In the context of an increasing number of patients with IBD, nuclear receptors have entered the stage for therapeutic intervention. The nuclear receptor we are working with, with the name NATF6, is highly expressed in healthy gut epithelium, but expression is reduced in patients with inflammatory bowel disease. Therefore, we ask if this nuclear receptor plays a role during gut homeostasis. For this study, we teamed up with the local gastroenterology department and could identify for the first time an important regulatory role for NH2F6 in the regulation of gut homeostasis. Hello, my name is Victoria and we investigated in this paper the role of NH2F6 in experimental colitis disease progression administering DSS in the drinking water of wild type and NH2F6 deficient mice and observed a rapid onset and accelerated progression of disease in knockout mice assessed by overall weight loss, colon length, as well as histological examination on day 3 and day 7 showing increased epithelial disruption. We have previously shown that NH2F6 impacts pro-inflammatory cytokine expression in activated T-cells in order to determine whether enhanced inflammation during DSS colitis is causative for the observed phenotype, we utilized the model of T-cell dependent colitis and observed surprisingly comparable phenotypes in the CD4 red transfer colitis model documented by survival, weight curves and histological analysis of colons. The next key experiment was performed to answer the question whether hematopoietic or non-hematopoietic cells are causative for our phenotype and was conducted using bone marrow chimeras. These studies clearly showed immune reconstitution with either wild type or knockout cells into NH6 deficient irradiated recipients resulted in aggravated disease course strongly supporting a crucial role of NH6 in intestinal epithelial cells. To prove our findings, we quantified the mucus covered area revealing a significant reduction in colon sections of NH2F6 deficient mice with less MUC2 expression and a higher barrier permeability assessed using FITS dextran in steady state as well as after DSS administration. In addition, as a penetrable inner mucus layer is a hallmark of spontaneous IBD development, we investigated aged one year old NH2F6 deficient mice and observed signs of spontaneous colitis with shortened colons, elevated histological scores and reduced goblet cell numbers. Mechanistically, we could show a NH2F6 binding capability to the mouse and human MUC2 promoter with a reduced potential under inflammatory DSS colitis conditions, suggesting that this interaction indeed results in autotranscriptional activity. Summarizing our findings, the loss of NH6 in the intestinal epithelium appears to be the primary cause of enhanced disease susceptibility, validating for the first time NH6 as a protective layer in the counter-regulation of intestinal inflammation.